Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I've got a little bit of a different review for you guys. These are the Dark Knight Trilogy premium playing cards that are sold by DC on their Shop DC website. I bought these because I needed to get up to free shipping for a poster and a t-shirt I was buying. And I'm not a cards person, I don't usually play cards. I don't know how much cards are supposed to cost, but these cost $14.95 US dollars which seems really expensive, but you know what? Shipping was $7, so I feel like I only really paid 8 bucks for these. Uh, and I did already open them, but I wanted to do a video review of them because I thought that they're really cool, pretty unique, and as someone that really likes the Dark Knight trilogy, I think that they're just a nice item to have if collectibles are the kind of thing you're into. So as you can see, the front of the card deck box, I guess. I don't know if these have a name. Um, it looks like the Dark Knight suit, which I think is really cool. You have a really nice logo. And honestly, this entire box does feel very premium. It's like embossed. It's not just printed on, so you can feel the ridges on the suit there. And on the sides, you do have a beautiful Dark Knight logo. Same thing on the other side, some writing on the bottom. And then I really like the back. This is actually the same design that you'll find on the back of the playing cards, but I just think that this is a really classy look and I like it a lot. You do have a little Dark Knight logo sticker at the very top, which like I said, is broken because I have already opened this deck, but the premium experience continues with even like the embossed flap. That is pretty nice. Inside you have a bunch of Joker decoration, so you can see it says Why So Serious in metallic red. That was another nice surprise, and I'm going to go ahead and dump out the deck. I mixed all the cards together, so I think that they had come in a particular order, so I kind of wish I had just done this video when I was opening it for the first time, but I didn't know I'd like these so much. I didn't know I would want to do a video on them. But yeah, this is what the inside of the packaging looks like. It's just a bunch more Joker decoration. But like I said, that is a pretty nice premium unboxing experience for a deck of cards. So here's the card deck itself. Like I said, the same design that's on the front of the box, although the box is a little bit nicer with the metallic printing. But I do like this design you have. It looks like Bane's mask in the background and then Batman's cowl. And then you do have these little symbols and... I guess it's the Wayne sign, it's the Dark Knight sign, and then I don't know why there's a rose there. I am a fan of the Dark Knight trilogy, but I'm not an expert, so if someone wants to tell me why a rose is on there, that would be great. But what's really special is obviously the card designs. So the regular cards aren't anything really special, but as you can see from these two aces, you start to get into really unique Dark Knight-specific stuff once you break out of the regular numbers. So am I going to find all of the aces here? Um, no, like I said, I did a pretty good job of mixing them up, but what I'm going to do is take out all of these special designs and then we'll go through them one by one, but relatively quickly because I don't want this to be a super long review. We'll go ahead and start with the Jokers because Joker is one of the most iconic Dark Knight characters, and actually the Joker card was the first in the box when I opened it for the first time. So you have this one with the character that says, Why So Serious? I think that this one is cool, but I think that this one is definitely better. This is awesome. I even think that this was like a poster, teaser poster for the Dark Knight back in the day. Um, but he's even holding a Joker card with Batman on it. So I think that that is a really nice design. Uh, it maybe would have been really cool to get like a classic style Joker card though, because Joker does use actual Joker playing cards. It would have been interesting to maybe get four instead of the standard two so that you could have Joker's like actual physical calling card in this set. But that's just a nitpick. I think that those are awesome. Next up, we're going to look at the aces, which have a bunch of different bat inspired things. So this is the club, right? So the ace of clubs just has a battering embedded in the club sign. I think that this is the weakest one by far. The Ace of Hearts has the Tumblr on it, which I think is awesome. Really nice design, and I love the Tumblr in general, so I'm always happy to see it. Then this is the Ace of Spades, and it says a silent guardian, a watchful protector, the Dark Knight. Obviously the ending narration to the Dark Knight movie, I know that much. Uh, but you do have the trilogy logo in the center there, and I think that this is a really nice design, especially compared to something like the Ace of Clubs, 
I feel like the quality difference between the two is just massive, with the Ace of Spades being much better. And then the Ace of Diamonds is upside down, but that is the Bat Pod, which is another one of my favorite vehicles, like, ever, so I love seeing that on a playing card. Next up, we've got the Kings, and again, they're kind of out of order, because why would we start with Harvey Dent when one of the Kings is Batman? But whatever, let's just roll with it. So, Two-Face. This is epic because I actually didn't even really notice this card when I opened it the first time, but you have his burn face on one side and then you flip it upside down and you have regular Harvey Dent. I think I just noticed like the regular Harvey Dent when I was opening it the first time, but he is holding a little like I believe in Harvey Dent pin and flipping the two face coin. So that's a pretty awesome card. We also have Bane. This one is a little less interesting because I mean, it's just Bane. It's not that exciting. Uh, Scarecrow, I think that this one is pretty cool because I like the design for like the actual body and I like the way it kind of reflects. I mean, he's holding a lighter. Um, and then of course we have Batman who is the main star of the show. And I think that this is pretty epic. I like all of the circular designs. And I think that the printing quality on the cards is pretty great. Like all of them are really interesting to me. I just think that Bane here is the least interesting of the Kings. Then for Queens, I didn't even realize this when I first opened the box, but this is Rachel, and she is holding the letter that she leaves Bruce, so that's a nice reference, and it is of course Maggie Gyllenhaal, not Katie Holmes, because the role was recast for The Dark Knight. Then we have Miranda Tate, aka Talia Al Ghul. She's holding the knife she stabs Bruce with, which I think is kind of funny, uh, but this is a nice card as well. Again, I like the circular designs a lot. And then over here, I gotta be honest, I have no idea who this is. Um, she's holding tickets. I, I don't know if this is supposed to be Martha. Uh, maybe it is, but none of the kings were Thomas Wayne, so I have no idea. Um, and then my favorite queen, of course, is Catwoman, who is one of my favorite characters in the Dark Knight trilogy. I really loved Anne Hathaway's Catwoman. Even when I was a kid, I never really understood why people didn't like her. So this is definitely my favorite queen card, and I think it's going to look like excellent next to Batman. Because I don't actually know if these are the types of cards you play with, or more the kind of thing you just keep in your back pocket as a collectible that you own, but um, I don't know if I'm actually going to end up playing with these or not. Then as for the Jacks, we have Commissioner Gordon to start out with, and he's holding something. I don't know if that's a Joker card, or no, that's his police badge. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Um, then I don't know who this is because is this Alfred? I guess it's Alfred, but it doesn't really look like Michael Caine. So that's a little bit confusing. Uh, then we have Lucius Fox, I think. Yeah, this is Lucius Fox because that looks like Morgan Freeman. So that's a nice card, I guess. Again, the designs are okay. They're nothing super exciting in my opinion. Um, and then we do have Liam Neeson as Raish Al Ghul as one of the Jacks. And I mean, this is a cool card, but this is where things get a little bit more confusing to me because we have three villains as Kings and then we have one villain as a Jack. And then we have like the three supporting characters as Jacks. Like that makes more sense to me because Jacks aren't as important cards as Kings and Queens, right? So I really feel like Rachel Ghoul should have been a king instead of someone like Scarecrow, because to me, Scarecrow is the weakest villain out of all of them here. Um, not character wise, just in terms of like screen time and impact wise, like I think Bane might arguably be the weakest villain, but he had a lot more screen time and presence than Scarecrow, at least in my opinion. So, yeah, so some of the choices made for the characters on these cards is a little bit confusing, but that's mostly what I wanted to show you guys, just because I think that those designs are really cool. And again, this is just like the cheapest thing I could buy on the DC store that wasn't a Funko Pop when I was trying to get free shipping. But overall, I'm really happy with it because I think it's a really nice collectible if you're a fan of the Dark Knight trilogy. And I just think it's a nice thing to have if you're trying to get up to free shipping. So uh, I'll put a link to it in the description if you guys are interested in it. And I really wish I had uploaded this video like three days ago for Batman Day, so I could have planned that a little bit better. But let me know what you guys think about these playing cards in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well, and I'll see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now.